I think that having different cultures and different different players from from different countries on the field at the same time just brings a, an air of like freshness, of new ideas, of, of not being so monotonous. Whenever you bring people in from different backgrounds, you'll always gain insights, you'll always gain an edge, and I think that's one of the um, one of the beauties of soccer is that it is the global game, and you are getting that input that perhaps you know pollinates your ideas and makes you think about different things. When you don't speak the language, uh, regardless where you are, uh, your biggest obstacle is to go and buy groceries, to go to movies, to go and watch TV. Simple things that we discount that are really easy. And the very beginning of a player coming from other country is extremely challenging. So we put measures in place with uh, you know, our player personnel department to look after these guys, almost player liaisons, right? So helping them get set up and helping their life get set up and help, help them kind of acclimatize or be accustomed to our culture. Good morning. Al principio nos costó un poco a nosotros los, los latinos eh, acostumbrarnos nos a lo que es eh, la cultura de acá. Eh, pero nada, con, con el correr de los tiempos fuimos aprendiendo, eh, salimos a comer con los amigos, que eso es muy bueno, eh, mantener el grupo muy unido y también, como decís, aprendemos muchas cosas más. What we do here is, when these guys come into a locker room from areas that they have their own personal views and, and upbringing and culture, so getting these guys together, what we try to do in the academy is we're saying, hey guys, when you get to the professional ranks, look at our team here. You have a Paraguayan, Venezuelan, American, go down the list. You get in that locker room, you need to be more knowledgeable about the world. You need to be knowledgeable about your social surroundings. We do a really cool program, um, so it's called the SunTrust Life Skills, and we try to bring them up to date once a month. Uh, we do presentations. He's really trying to get them you know, more well-rounded because once they go into the professional environment, it's not just 18 other American players in there. There's a lot of different cultures, different languages, guys are at different points in their life. We're trying to do what we can through our academy uh, to educate these kids that there is more outside of football or soccer than just uh, you know, playing the game. You never know how a team is going to gel with so many people from so many different realms of life, but they've been unafraid to take those challenges and then to find the best players and the best people, no matter their background, no matter where, where they are playing in the world. If they can help our team and they can fit into the locker room, then so be it. We're very close. We're, um, we like to laugh and joke. When we have that in the locker room, uh, I think that, uh, that translates onto the pitch. It's soccer that's bringing them together and it's soccer that everybody plays it all the world around and whether it's putting jumpers down for goalposts in England parks or you're playing with you know a ball that's been made from old carrier bags in you know Ghana and people are just kicking it around on on a dusty field it's just the same game and everyone still gets that same thrill of the beauty of a goal the joy you get out of playing soccer just the happiness and it just brings everybody together like a family and when you play alongside someone it doesn't matter if you speak the same language when you're playing it's just you're like sharing that joy together sometimes you don't need words and and sometimes when you do need words it's 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 maybe one or two but at the end of the day uh, football speaks for itself